All right, so instead of walking us or writing everything down and having another 10 minute video, I have most of it written out. We'll finish it up together, but I'll walk you through it. And so first thing I started with is I started with um, listing all my possible rational zeros of 24. And those are plus or minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24, which is a lot to test, but we know better. We're going to start by testing the ones. So here I tested positive 1. And I can see when I added up all the coefficients from P of X, it equals 0. So I knew that X equals 1 was a 0. And then I started with my synthetic division here. And you guys can pause any time and write this all down or check your work. Um, and when I did synthetic division, I got this result. So x minus 1 was a factor, and then what was left was x to the 6th plus 3x to the 5th plus x to the 4th plus x to the 3rd minus 18x squared minus 44x minus 24. Notice if you did not get that, looking up here, I am missing the x to the 4th term, so I put a placeholder in. All right, it's fine to test your 1 again especially with something this long. So I tested my one again, and I added up all of the coefficients from my resulting x to the sixth polynomial, and I got negative 80. So positive one, we're done with it. It will never work again. So we know that it was one of our zeros. So then I tried negative one. And remember, negative one is I add up all the coefficients, but I make the odd coefficients the opposite sign of what they were. And so that would make this a negative, this a negative, and this a positive. And so you can see I did that here. I added those up and I got zero. So x equals negative one is a zero. And so now I did synthetic division on that x to the sixth. And when I went through that, I got this result. Um, I have x minus one as a factor, and now I know I have x plus one. And what was the result of my synthetic division was x to the fifth plus 2x to the fourth minus x cubed plus 2x squared minus 20x minus 24. Now I tested positive one twice, so I went and tested negative one again. And when I tested negative one by making, changing the signs on my x to the fifth, x to the third, and x term to the opposite sign and added up those coefficients, it equaled zero again. So x equals negative one is another zero. That means it has a multiplicity of two. So I did it again. I did my synthetic division with negative one again. And at this point, I get x minus one times x plus one squared, because now x plus one is a factor twice. And then what was left was x to the fourth plus x cubed minus 2x squared plus 4x minus 24. And what I didn't show is I did try negative one again and it didn't work. And so when you are done with your ones, I'm completely done with my ones, I'm gonna go to my next positive number and that's a two. And that's what I did here, I tried two. And two worked, I got a zero remainder, but I also got all positive, I, I was dividing with the positive coefficient and my quotient was all positive signs. And so I know that's an upper bound. So I would never try any of these. Those would be out because two is the highest number that will divide into it evenly. And I was really lucky at this point. What resulted from that synthetic division is I still had all my factors from before and now I added X minus two and then what was left was x cubed plus 3x squared plus 4x plus 12. And I recognized I could use grouping there because my first and last term multiplied to 12 and my two middle terms multiplied to 12. Plus I had four terms and it was a cubic. And so you can see that my greatest common factor in the first two terms was x squared, which left me x plus 3. And between the last two terms was plus four, which left me x plus three. So now I have fully factored. Now I had x minus one times x plus one squared times x minus two times my new zero, 
factor of x plus 3, and then what was left is x plus 4, and that is not factorable. It's not like x squared minus 4. And now I can list my zeros. I'm going to say x equals 1 is a 0. Negative 1 with multiplicity of 2. Uh, 2 is a 0. Oops, I didn't need a parentheses there. So just 2. Negative 3 is a 0. And if I set x squared plus 4 equal to 0, I get x squared equals negative 4. And when I square root, I get plus or minus 2i. Now I should have seven zeros because my degree was seven. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that's it. So again, remember, you can pause any time. I'm gonna go over to the left here so you can get all of that. And I'm gonna come over to the right so you can get all that so you can pause and check your work on any of this.